Hey, what's up, beautiful people? So recently, Bart uh, returned from Dallas. He was out there performing for a bunch of college students. And um, I realized something. When you were gone, you were very capable and a grown man. How would you know that? You weren't there with me. Why are you talking like that? Because sometimes I just want to speak in a different way. It makes me feel more sophisticated. <laughs> You're ridiculous. Are you going to say that the entire, the entire I video? I don't know. You can't, you can't hold me to any type of room. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> anyway. So, I realized that when you're gone and we're apart... Well, hold on, how did you even know that I carried myself like a man when you're not there? Because you were telling me how you had a stomach ache and then you were telling me something about like your nose or something like that. But when I gave you suggestions as to like, hey, why don't you take some Pepto or why don't you take this allergy med medication or whatever, you had already covered all those bases and you said, oh, I already did. I and just took a shit and it all came out. <laughs> no. No, you made it sound like you covered all bases and you were like, oh, hey, I got this under control now, but I'm just sharing with you how my day has gone. So once I heard that and I heard you say this, I was like, wait a minute. When we're together, you are highly incapable and it seems like you have some sort of disorder because your hands don't work, your arms don't work, you can't think clearly. For example, Please elaborate. Because yes, I'm, I'm it going seems like to. like false accusations. No, it's not. So, for example, what I mean when his hands don't work, I have a purse, right? And girls know that you have a purse because you're carrying like your makeup, you have your phone, your big ass wallet with like all the credit cards that you need or whatever. Um, and it's just to carry your personal items, you know? But when he's with me, all of a sudden, his pockets just like, they, they don't work. He can't hold anything. My pockets shrink when I see you wearing a purse. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so Immediately. So his pockets shrink, the stitching, it, it goes through the entire pocket and you can no longer open it. Um, so he he can't hold it in his hands because it becomes like 200 pounds in each hand. Not so he 200, has to... my hands work, my fingers, they, they're paralyzed. Oh, okay. So his fingers become paralyzed. Paralyzed. Right. paralyzed. And all of a sudden, magically, I don't even know how this happens, but all of his shit is in my purse. Not all of my shit, but my wallet and my keys. <laughs> That's it. What else do you carry? You're saying like as if my feces is all in your purse. <laughs> I, no, I keep the feces in the toilet. I totally Hey, you, I our audience shit. is highly intelligent and they can decipher exactly what I'm trying to say. Okay, I they know not what they put mean. Human excrement in your <laughs> purse. All right, so he doesn't literally put shit in my purse because you guys already know that. But anyway. Unless it's an emergency, then that's what purse is uh, Okay, for. fine, whatever. So then, so then, like, my purse weighs like an additional five pounds because this wallet's like... Really? Let me... Let, <laughs> you really think this is going to be an extra five pounds? Look at this! This is monstrous! You're this moving so around big. like it's one pound. It's like not even one pound. There's nothing in here. Well, okay, well, it's my purse. I can carry my own shit. <laughs> I don't want to spend the time putting it back in my pocket, so I just throw it, you know? <laughs> I want to stay engaged with you. We're talking to you. It's like we're here, you know. Okay, make fine. Sure. Fine. On top of that, all of a sudden, his lips are just completely chapped. They're bleeding. It, 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 it's like they're about to fall off their face. He's been like, they're like absolutely parched. He ha he needs to drink water. Like they're just fucked up on his mouth. Well, when or this so happened, it was it because we're in Toronto. No, this happens all the time. No, we were in Toronto and no. it was extremely cold. I'll give you that and I didn't give you any sort Five of shit. Five degrees Fahrenheit. I didn't give you any sort of shit when we were in Toronto. Yes, you did. You no, were I like, didn't. Where's your chapstick? And I said, I left it back in Los Angeles. I don't know where my chapstick is. <laughs> anyway, he never knows where his chapstick, chapstick is. I don't know. I mean, everybody has his problem. I buy like four sticks and they're all gone. Okay, fine. So, when we're not in Toronto and we're in LA and the weather's beautiful and he has plenty of water to be drinking, um, all of a sudden his lips are parched, they're bleeding, they're like about to fall off of his face and he's like, oh, do you have chapstick, please, I, I need chapstick. I'm like, what the hell? Why does this always happen when we're together? Like, you're, you, like nothing works, you're, un, you're unprepared, you, like your pockets just don't work, your fingers don't work. I'm like, what, what is going on that like you're so highly dependent on me? Can I tell you a secret? <laughs> when you're not around, I'm actually a secret agent and nothing can bog me down. So when I had a tummy ache, I immediately took a secret agent shit and it took less than five seconds, got everything out of me and I was ready to be on a mission and get on plane and get back to see you. But when you're around, you're, the, you're that part of love in my life that I've never got a chance for someone to take care of me and it feels great when you take care of me because I feel like I'm loved. <laughs> You are, you're quite an asshole, I believe. <laughs> oh, 
Why did you ever tell me that? That's like the sweetest thing ever. You're always such a cold-hearted son of a bitch. How am I cold-hearted son of a bitch? <laughs> Speak normally, please. Why? It takes you forever. Fine, fine, fine. What do you mean? What do you mean I'm a cold-hearted son of a bitch? Yeah, because you never say that stuff. It's always just like, here, take care of this. Oh, I need this. Oh, I can't think about this right now. Oh, I'm so tired. Can you just make a decision? Cause I like I like doing things with you. But why? Like you don't see what it causes, like the stress it causes on my life. Cause you and I. Your have... purse is huge. I'm like, there's so much extra space. Okay, that one. Some shit in there. That one is fine, but you do it like all the time, and it's every single freaking day. And I'm just like, why do I have to keep track? And then you'll be like, oh, I, I love need... it when you take care of me. And then you have the audacity to be like, oh, um, I need my I need my wallet, or I need it. I'm just like, if you put it in my purse, you need to take it out yourself. I'm in the middle of something. Why do I have to drop everything? Like you're a freaking infant and I need to run to cater to your needs every single time you and I have the exact same busy ass schedule we like we, we we train we do JK we do barbell and then we have our personal life which I take care of all of that and he's still highly demanding of like my attention maybe I just like when you take care of me but that's not fair because I don't do that to you. All right, guys, let me know. Let me know if this is real. This is gonna get some dudes to connect on a level right now. And girls, just some insight secrets to your man or to your future man. Please share it. Check it out. So dudes, right? Specifically, thug niggas right here. <laughs> Excuse oh, my language, but I don't know. I don't know. Are. I don't know any other way to explain. I mean, us thug niggas, we know who the fuck we is. Okay? We're hard as fuck. <laughs> we're hard. We're out there. We're conquering killing it and we take care of ourselves but finally when we get a princess in our lives we just like the softer side of things we, we like being taken care of we like you know we, maybe we like it when a girl comes and gives a massage or or, or, or puts a jacket around us or, or like puts chapstick on us or like covers our ashy ass elbows or whatever and, and it feels great when that happens so sometimes it feels good to be dependent on someone a little bit I mean, when you're rolling with the homies I can't be like hey, yo Joe like Yo, can you carry my wallet? And you'll be like, what the fuck? My pocket can't fit two wallets in there. And I'm like, I know, but you know, just. <laughs> Imagine you, know, you can't be doing shit like this, that. This is a type of love and a type of dependency that you can't share with anyone else. Except for maybe your parents. But I mean, we're old as fuck now. Our parents aren't, aren't here. And it's, it's also different. That's like, that's a um, up and down type of dependency. The type of dependency that couples have. It's like interdependency, and it makes it it makes it cute. It makes it like oh, like you know, like, like cute it, for you because I don't do that to you, so you don't even know what I. You don't do that to me. What the? You need to go check out my video. <laughs> After this video, you need to go check out my video. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. Not at all. <laughs> not at all. No, that's not true. So okay, so I love the fact that you shared that thug niggas like the softer side of things, and I I absolutely love taking care of you when it's. This is gonna sound fucked up, but I, I just like. When I'm sick. No, I mean, well, you that's. You actually told me that when I'm sick, you love taking care of me. That's what she said. Well, okay. The only reason why I like taking care of you when you're sick is because you're calm. You're not fucking around. You're not <laughs> fucking around. Like you're not like poking fun or trying to like pinch my nipples or do some weird <laughs> shit all the time. Hey, if they're popping now, I gotta pinch them. <laughs> yeah. So she always like wears like at home, right? She's always wearing like my wife beaters, and <laughs> I'm way bigger than her, so the wife beater straps are always like this. Our nipples always popping out, and if they pop out, the fucking sand crabs come and gotta pinch them. What are you telling me? Sand crabs are attracted to nipples. They gotta come out and go sand crabs. Beep. <laughs> so funny, you freaking crazy little thing. It's so amazing how believe you said that. Why? I don't know how to recover. <laughs> So well, sand crabs is like the inside joke between us, like whether we're taking a shot, we both do it to each other, but like, sand crabs, we just pinch. <laughs> and it's especially fun, you guys gotta try this. It's especially fun when you guys are taking a shower, right? <laughs> and, then, and then you're like washing their head and the soap is all up, and shampoo's all up, and it's all up on your head. And out of nowhere, if you just go, sand crabs, they go, oh shit! <laughs> it's like the best reaction ever. <laughs> It's a funny freaking crazy lunatic. So, on a more serious note, because that was highly embarrassing, you son of a bitch. 
We're really just trying to share a relationship with you. So we're really trying to bring you inside of our relationship because we feel like what we have is very cool, very intimate, and it's just cool to bring you guys inside of our lives, especially since we kind of <laughs> kept you guys in the dark for like three, four years. Yeah, so uh, that was funny. That was a good one. Anyway, um, so yeah, the reason the reason why I like taking care of you when you're sick is because you just become like this adorable, sweet, kind, like, baby. 